Like almost everything in our lives, our sleep and dreams are being affected by the coronavirus. In a Harvard survey, more than 2,000 people described 5,000 COVID-related dreams in the past month. They include nightmares about getting the virus and anxiety dreams about forgetting to wear masks outside. Dr. Carol Ash is a sleep specialist and chief medical officer at RWJ Barnabas Health in Rahway, New Jersey. Good morning, Dr. Ash. I know so many people who've been telling me they've had strange dreams recently, in, including myself. I've had a couple of really surreal ones, the kind where you wake up and you go, what was that? So what is going on in our heads? Well, Anthony, uh, dreams are a physiologic signal, and they're, they're normal. We have them all the time. Sometimes we don't know we are having them, but it's your body and your brain processing the events and experiences experiences of the day. It's for emotional processing, and it helps us prepare for future events. So is it basically healthy to have these dreams, as disturbing as some of them may be? Well, they, they are healthy. I mean, you can have dreams along a spectrum. When you have these dreams at night, again, for that emotional processing, it helps to regulate your emotions during the day. It down-regulates those, those anxious feelings. And studies have shown that when you don't sleep well at night, your anxiety is increased by 30%. So good sleep and dreams, they're a normal, healthy process. And unfortunately, with all the things we're dealing with this, with this coronavirus, we're all going through collective trauma. So we're seeing more and more of these vivid dreams, nightmares. It's not uncommon to have sleep disruption and nightmares during trauma. But what also is happening, Anthony, is some of us, because we're not working, our schedules are disrupted, and we're, we're sleeping in, we're actually getting more sleep, and you have more dreams right before you awaken in the morning so most of us are actually experiencing dreams for the first time so we're finding our dreams are more vivid because we just haven't had the opportunity to really get good quality sleep <laughs> what kinds of dreams are you hearing about from your patients well, there's a whole spectrum, Anthony. We have people that are talking about virtual dreams where they're literally dreaming about the virus all the way to metaphors, people feeling like they're, they're, they're running away or they're, they're, they're dreaming about people touching them, swarms of bugs. And, and unfortunately, obviously, we have those healthcare providers on the front lines that are experiencing real trauma. You know, it's, it's hard to be dealing with this coronavirus and doing what we do. And some, some of those folks are experiencing nightmares and, and having some real difficulties. We're also in this period of social isolation that most of us have not experienced. Is, is that affecting how we sleep? Well, this is really an interesting thing. Obviously, so the, the social distancing, it is critically important. We all need to stick to that, and, and we're seeing wonderful outcomes because of it. Social isolation, it is a perceived sense of loss for many of us. You know, the daily routines, our interactions with folks, it defines a sense of self. So there's this perceived loss of sense of self. It's increasing anxiety, and, and anxiety and stress will disrupt your sleep at night. And here's the interesting part, Anthony. When you disrupt your sleep at night, it activates the part of the brain for protection. So you have a greater sense that your space is being violated. So you, you really don't even want to be around people. So it magnifies that sense of isolation and loss. So it's not as bad as we think. We're going to get through this, stick to the social distancing, and we really can, can cope. It's the way the brain works that's giving that, us that perceived additional sense of loss and isolation. All right, Dr. Carol Ash, thank you so much for being with us this morning.